baby's definitely hanging on because she knows I've not filmed my hospital bag video yet. T minus a few days. Well, who knows when she's going to come to be honest. But this is the video that I keep saying. I probably say it every week that I'm going to film this video. And I don't know why, I just don't do it. I'm going to go through my hospital bag and then baby's hospital bag. You guys can let me know if I'm missing anything, if I've overpacked. I do have a suitcase and it's a medium sized one. But let me explain, okay? When I moved, I had so many suitcases, like so many, big, small, medium, super miniature, super large. And we just don't have the storage to have all that. So I whittled it down. We have a large one each, we have a small one each, and then we had this random medium one that we bought on holiday once because we needed more room to pack. Our small ones are so small. I shouldn't have to justify myself, but I know someone's gonna say, are you going on holiday? I don't know how long I'm gonna be there. You don't know how long I'm gonna be there. I'd rather have more than enough, you know? <laughs> But welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you enjoyed this video. This is going to be in no particular order and I will try and link things down below just in case this inspires anyone. I know there's 8 million gazillion videos of hospital bags online but I just thought it would be fun to add mine to the mix. So let's start with my case, not bag. But to be honest, it's not packed to the brim. If Cass wants to put some of his stuff in here, he can too. To be honest, we could share this because he definitely won't need much at all and he's definitely not put a bag together yet. Let's get started. Okay, first up, we have a black towel. Our towels just happen to be black. So I just washed one and I put it straight in my case. A lot of the TikTok videos that I see, they always start off with a dark towel. So I thought, this is perfect. I have dark towels. And then I have a little zip bag of toiletries. So... It's a mix between me being obsessed with my sticker machine, being really bored, and also just all of a sudden finding this really odd organisation skill that I never knew I had. Yes, a little bit OTT, however, very handy for a video. I've listed everything that's in this bag with my sticker machine, so let's go through. In this zipper, I have a toothbrush, toothpaste, shower gel, deodorant, shampoo and conditioner, just in case, I feel like I won't need that though. Lip balm, face wipes, hair bands. And then I remember chucking two things in that aren't on here. A hand sanitizer and then a little lay bar. You know the My Expert Midwife, they sent me loads of bits. This is a lay bar roller ball, which is a calming like ointment. Oh, she's leaking a little bit. But you roll that on your wrist. I mean, I don't know if I believe in all that, but I thought, you know what, we've got a little bit of room in there. And also, it's obviously very handy having a clear bag. This is just from Glossy Box, but you can get these anywhere. I've got a couple. I think I might have one in here from Amazon Boots. And if someone needs to grab something for you, it's good that it's see-through. And then if you do have a sticker machine from Amazon, it's even more handy because my nan laughed. But Nan, you won't be laughing when I'm like, pass me the... And then you can find it in 0.2 seconds. Ah, look. Good job I'm doing this because I'm having to repack things that I've randomly thrown in. Someone said to me to take my own paracetamol. So we'll put that in the toiletry zipper. Next up, the bag I've managed to grab is snacks. Like I said, no particular order. I mean... This is quite essential, but this is a work in progress still. I know that when I'm at the hospital, my hospital in particular has like a Costa, an M&S. So I won't be struggling, but I've just put some bits in that I love. So like some sugary sweets, some white chocolate, some prawn cocktail crisps, just in case. Because I had these little bags, which I was sent. These are a game changer, by the way. These are from... A company called Honey Lane but I know that they have them all over Etsy and it's kind of like a list in bag form so as much as I had a list on my phone and I was trying to make notes and my friends were helping me when I opened up these bags and laid them all out it was just mapped out in front of me and it made it so much easier next bag is underwear as you'll see me and my sticker machine got a little bit carried away again but again so handy 
I fulfill men in particular now because I can tell you guys so specifically what's in here but also if you're like me I packed this probably a couple of weeks ago now and I could still be pregnant for like another week or so maybe longer and you do just forget what's in a bag and again your birthing partner can grab something for you if you need a midwife to grab something for you so in my underwear bag I've got three soft bras and five pairs of knickers which are like a bigger style very sexy from Asda you can see them on the little picture because I've got them in the pack in there stunning if you ask me I am not really getting along with many nursing bras I just think they just slip around and all sorts so I like a just a Primark sports not even sports like just a Primark cheapy stretchy rib you know so I've just chucked them in and I do want to try and breastfeed but I am a typical like we'll just whack it out I don't need all these straps these buckles I'll just get it out next bag I have is nightwear so in here I've got a black all-in-one button-down like a nighty so it's a dress form which I think will be handy I don't think shorts will be necessary trousers will be necessary because I can just button this up it's from ASOS maternity and it's like really soft that kind of skims buttery material I'm not going to get it out because you all know what pyjamas look like. And then I actually have a pyjama shirt, which I got from Primark. And again, same thing. Literally, the best way to describe it, it's like a long shirt. Easy to button up, easy to unbutton, and lightweight because I've heard the hospitals get very hot. Next pack is a pad pack. And in here I've got, obviously like it says on the tin, some maternity pads. I think I've got about six in here. And then I've got disposable underwear. So I did get a pack of Freedom Mum stuff, which I think is quite pricey. Uh, it had these and then it had the cool pads, which I'll get to in a second. But I only had two of the pants in. And then to buy more of the pants, it was like so expensive considering these are disposable and you're literally just going to throw them in the bin. So in my cupboard, I've got a pack of Tenor Women ones. Does the same job, I assume. And they were a lot more affordable. But I've just chucked the Freedom Mum ones in because they were the first ones I had. The next bag says Mum's Essentials. And I've made this just like a nanny bag. <laughs> it says cold pads, peri bottle and a spritz for bits. And when I posted this on my story, obviously unless you've been pregnant or unless you've heard of this, it does just sound like you're describing something very peculiarly, very strangely. But... I've heard amazing things. This is from my expert midwife. Spritz for bits and it's literally, I guess you spray it on your bits. And it's instant relief. Natural blend to soothe your bits. And my friends that have used this said it's a game changer. My little peri bottle, which I got from Amazon. Pink to match my jumper. And just comes in a little bag. And then, yeah, just the little pads from... Freedom Mum, which are the snap call pads, which I'm sure you've heard about. Again, you don't have to get Freedom Mum. I kind of wish I'd gone for another brand because they're so pricey. It actually blows my mind. I just kind of added it to my basket on Amazon because I'm just a click buy. It's just so quick to purchase on Amazon. It's a bit too quick. And I have seen in the meantime, obviously other brands do do this stuff. I'm pretty sure like there's Boots Own, everything. Just shop about, you'll find cheap alternatives. If I can find cheaper, I will link them down below. But that is my ninny bag. Next bag, we have feeding essentials. So this has breast pads, nipple balm, nipple shields, and a silicone pump. Now, I don't know what I'm going to need. I don't know if I'll need the silicone pump. It's just a hacker, which I'll get out. The reason I've put it in is because I know that when you breastfeed the other boob has like let down I mean I don't know how quick that happens can I get this out probably not and I know it takes a couple days for your actual milk to come in so I don't know if I'll need this but I have just chucked it in because why not and if you've not heard of a hacker it's literally like you suction it to your boob 
no electronics nothing and it just kind of collects what falls out instead of wasting it only other thing i need to put in this bag or potentially in another bag is i have been collecting some colostrum which is in the freezer and i'm going to take some to the hospital with me when i go i don't actually know how much if anyone knows how much i should take let me know someone dm me and said do not take it all because obviously they'll put it in their freezer at the hospital and then when you go to leave nine times out of ten like you're in this bubble and you just forget to get it back and if you've collected a lot it's great for a rainy day at home and then nine times out of ten they do kind of get rid of it i think so i don't know how much to take i've got one mil syringes i'm thinking like a couple two or three maybe obviously that will be frozen so that might go in this bag or maybe another bag but that is everything for feeding and then i had this toiletry bag obviously i've done my own little clear zip one so in this i just put in some flip-flops and flannels <laughs> don't be alarmed that i've put them in together they are all brand new <laughs> i've not actually used these flip-flops they're from primark and the reason i have put them in is just for like hygiene in the shower or walking around my hospital room in case it's so hot and I don't want to wear my fluffy slippers and that bag's a bit pointless but keeps it together I've let myself down here I've got a zipper bag which I said I got some from Amazon <sighs> this has no labels on it so I'm gonna have to go through it because I have no idea what is in here I think this is just things that I will want which don't really have a category to be honest so these little bags there's one for dirty washing obviously nothing's in that yet i have a disposable camera because these are the best thing ever and i just think if we get the time i'll just love having that and just the most beautiful raw vintage style pictures you know the three meter cable everyone told me to get a long charger with a plug i've got some trainer socks <laughs> because i bought a new pack of socks the other day so i just chucked some in i'm not really a fluffy sock gal i'm quite hot and sweaty betty so i thought if i want to put socks on if my feet are cold i have got slippers but i can just put some socks on some normal socks i have this little fan which it's small she's very small but she's a dream and then finally call me crazy I saw CC Clark done this and I know you're not really allowed perfumes and stuff around newborns but I'm thinking when I get in the room <laughs> if I remember to do this kind of spritz this it's a new perfume I've got and it will be like a memory perfume and I could spray it on my pajamas before I take it off and do skin to skin and it would just remind me of labor and that experience do you have a perfume that you spray and it literally brings back memories that's the vibe with this and i've got by replica and it is beach walk i have sprayed it a couple times and it is really really good but yeah that's just in there just in case but i know cc raves about doing that so i thought why not we're nearly done guys don't worry next up these are just in here but they're going straight back to bed in a sec because they're just in for this video. My, my Miggies. They come into the hospital. Yes, I'm 20. How old am I? 25. And I still need my comforters. I honestly, these calm me down so much. It's crazy. I just, I, if you, if you still don't, if you don't have your childhood toys, I don't know how you do it. Um. Yeah, they're coming. They are coming. I have a little blanket. I don't think I'll need it for warmth for anything, but i've heard that it's nice to have one just on the bed for comfort it'll be nice and cozy probably be too hot and sweaty but there if i need it <sighs> we're at the stage where i don't have any more bags and it's annoying because i don't like everything not being in the cute little bags but i've put in a thin robe this is from primark and it's that kind of buttery skims kind of feel and i just don't think i'll want a thick dressing gown if i'm being honest maybe i'll be wrong and i'll come back and i'll advise you guys to pack your fluffiest one but i highly doubt it so i've just put in a thin robe slippers 
just some nice fresh ones just because stuff like that brings me joy and then I have my coming home outfit which is again new it's just a new track so I just got it from sisters and seekers and I think I'm gonna chuck in some leggings as well I remember ages ago someone saying take a fitted outfit to come home which I don't think I want but I'll chuck it in in case and then also a baggier one and then I have a little vest top as well to put underneath in case it's too hot to just go straight into a jumper and also I could use this in the hospital if I want it as well and then other than my water bottle which I use every single day that's going to go in because that is a lifesaver it is the Stanley dupe that is everything no it's not and a hairbrush now that is everything I might chuck in a couple bits of makeup just in case not even to be like vain and do a whole full face my skin hasn't been great towards the end of pregnancy and personally for me having a little bit of a concealer if it's gonna make me feel more confident and better so be it who's gonna judge you know but i've got my brows done i've done my lvl so concealer should be enough and lip balm cheers that is mum's bag okay baby girl's turn so she's got her own bag as well and it actually fits in here perfectly so i'm just gonna grab and run through this should be a little bit quicker because obviously she's tiny so she hasn't got as much well she's got quite a lot considering she's a little tiny human so first one i've pulled out no particular order blankets and swaddles this has one large white swaddle and a zip swaddle as well there's also a blanket in there oh it's because it says blankets on there that's why i've not added it but again with the sticker machine just makes it handy swaddles then i have a bag of nappies and wipes so i pretty much took a whole pack of first size nappies fingers crossed because i haven't got a mix of sizes but if i need them Cass can run out and go get them but yeah there's about the amount of a full pack in there don't know if that's too many don't know if that's not enough but we will see and then i have one pack of water wipes sleep suits so everything is washed and ready to go i have a hello world hat and mitt so basically just you know it says hello world but i just wrote that because it will remind me that if i want to take cute little pics that they're in here uh first outfit as in her first ever outfit like when she comes out and she's all ready to be dressed there's her first outfit in here and then two white newborn sleep suits like all in one with the little mitts and the, the feet covering so that is all in this bag this bag is her going home outfit so that's the difference i was talking about by the way so her first outfit <laughs> the first thing she ever wears like i feel like that's really special that's probably something that I think will mean more than her coming home outfit. I know everyone makes a big deal out of like, what are they gonna wear to come home in? Which is still very cute. I've just literally put a cute little outfit together. I'm not gonna bore you and get it out, but it's kind of like creams and neutrals and stuff and little boots and a little cardi with her name on. But that's all in one little zipper bag. This is another cellular blanket, which has holes in it and it's just a different color. So. I've put two blankets in. Next up we have bodysuits and muslins. So I've put three muslins in here and three white newborn long sleeve bodysuits. Unless the weather makes a massive change, I don't think I'm gonna take short sleeve. I learned from my baby course that they need a little bit more wrapping up in like the first 24, 48 hours because they've come from being in your belly and so warm and cozy to like this big bad outside world that's freezing so i've just got long ones i've not took any short again like unless there's a heat wave in the next week i'll probably just stick to this and then yeah muslins for feeding just in case i need them and then this bag is baby essentials and this has sanitizing water which aisha and zelia recommended it's just a little spray like this and it's handy if you drop something that they need to have, whether you're gonna go straight in with the dummy, I don't know. And it's safe to swallow, alcohol free, and it's that recommended by loads of brands. And then socks, mitts, bibs, 
dummies brush and comb and all that is in here i've got a pack of ready-made bottles i'm taking them but i don't intend using them but i just feel like it's safe to take them so yeah in case breastfeeding doesn't work out i have got my colostrum to take which apparently the first couple days is more than enough because their dummies are so tiny. But yeah, it's just, I might as well take it. Last but not least, I have this little muslin zip bag, which has a teddy in it, which my nan said I probably won't need, but I don't know, just in case. And it is personalised. It's what Cass's mum got. And it says her name on the foot. This is from my first years, but it's just a really cute little teddy. And I've just put it in there so it stays nice and clean and away from everything else. And that is everything. Now I'm thinking about myself. I'm thinking of more things. I'm not paying a cleanser off my face. See? How do people pack light? I don't understand. It makes no sense to me. Well, I'm pretty sure I've got everything for her down to a T. I'm pretty sure. Again, please do let me know. But that is everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and now we wait but if you are pregnant right now and you're watching this for inspiration or if you're just being nosy thank you for watching and I hope this hopefully inspires someone or helps them remember something that they've not packed and this might be my last video before baby comes I think it will be you know oh my god that's so strange but anyways I love you guys. Thank you for watching and thank you for being on this journey. It feels like the longest pregnancy in the world, doesn't it? <laughs> we'll see you soon, possibly with a new little addition. Bye, guys. I can't reach. I literally can't even reach.